Good morrow. <clears throat> How are we? The cold warrior teacher buying me coffee, usual stuff. The baronet has been buzzed. <laughs> Have the younglings round. Colour purple, yours last night. He was a disaster over the throat, finish, couldn't stop crying. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Of course, by the marvellous Steven Spielberg <clears throat> from the book by uh, Alice Walker. Tremendous, tremendous. So what have I got for you today? Well, many of you will be familiar with a chap called Ben Shapiro, eh? Or Ben. Who's a, you know, a sort of a wonderful motor mouth speaker when he gets going. He can really, you know, smack out those verbs and adjectives <laughs> like nobody else. And on, yes, first, the first of March. So yesterday, I think it was, he's um, come across something that, is utterly gobsmacking and I thought I'd bring it to you so I can smack you in the gob with it. Link, as usual, in the Dubris, remember to like, share, repost, all the usual to get the message out there. And Ben says, breaking, says Ben, we've obtained internal emails from UCLA's medical school. Supposedly one of the best in the country. UCL, very well known, UCLA very well known in America as a college, or university rather. If you want to understand how DEI, diversity, equity and inclusivity, and anti-white, anti-American hatred have been mainlined into the medical profession, you need to see this. These emails come from a mandatory class called Structural racism and health equity. UCLA med students are told to read about wars of indigenous resistance. In which Native Americans killed thousands of white people to imagine what liberation would look like. What? Let's do that again. Med students are told to read about wars of indigenous resistance in which Native Americans kill thousands of white people to imagine what liberation could look like. I know. It is a bit, isn't it? Right? And then he's got the email there. Or the, the, the bit from the, from the course. Read chapter 7, it says. Liberation. From Our History is the Future by Nick Estes. In the history of our future, indigenous scholar and organiser, uh, Dr. Nick Estes, almost did it, traces traditions of indigenous resistance, leading to the no DAPL movement from the days of the Missouri River trading forts through the Indian Wars, the Pick Sloan dams, the American Indian movement, and the campaign for indigenous rights at the United Nations. The book's brief but scoping conclusion explores settler colonialism and indigenous resistance on a global scale and connects these forces to either anti-oppression movements throughout the world to begin to imagine what liberation could look like. What's a doctor need that for? Can somebody tell me? It should say, in your spare time. <laughs> but it doesn't, right? Students are also taught about blackness and indigeneity. There's a new one. Indigeneity. Have you done your indigeneity? Have I done my what? Have you done your indigeneity? What is that? <laughs> you know, indigeneity. To do with people who are indigeneity. Go away. <laughs> Students are also talk about <laughs> blackness and indigeneity and how we can manage... How we can imagine a world in the aftermath of settler colonialism and white supremacy. Just to really drive home the point, students are also urged to read an article titled Decolonization is not a metaphor. And again, they've got the details of it. Optional enrichment reading. That's what it's called. Optional, as if this is enriching people. You want to be enriched? Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like a bit of enrichment. Can you help me with that? I certainly can. What, what, have you, what do you recommend? This book, what's it called? Kill All the Whites. <laughs> For students who might want to dive a bit deeper into these topics, we also invite you to review these additional resources. Medical students, that's what you've got to keep in mind. 
The emails from this first year class also reveal that students are encouraged to listen to a post- podcast. We've got another word entitled Indigeni. Indigeni. <laughs> which covers an array of unscientific nonsense, including people identifying as two-spirit. Are you there? I am here. What do you want to do? Decolonize the curriculum. <laughs> and woman with an X. Mux, woman, 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 I can't even say it. Are you supposed to say it? Woman, 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 why is that even in this? This is this is this is a really serious university, he says. It's obviously not really serious for a university. We then have Indigeni defined, which is a community guided podcast, also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc., that celebrates indigenous womanuxens <laughs> health and well being and highlights conversations with traditional practitioners, indigenous healthcare workers. Right, that's people that find, you know, thyme and parsley and wild garlic, chew it up into a poultice and stuff it up your nose when you've got a polyp. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe we should be witch doctors next. (laughs) What is this? What is it? Can you imagine? What do I do now? What's the matter with him? What's he got? He's got mumps. Okay, you've got to turn round three times, slap your grandma on the forehead, and then cover him in corn flour. Okay, I've got it. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> I just... It's f- funny, but it's so dangerous. Why is a class like this even offered, says Ben? Much less mandatory for med students. Which lessons on anatomy, biochemistry and saving lives were removed to add this woke indigenous nonsense into the curriculum? In the context of a medical school, these materials aren't just irrelevant, they put lives at risk. Medical students are being taught to disregard science and instead to build resentment towards many of their patients. This is a widespread problem. This week we found Wake Forest's med school will graduate a student who bragged about injuring a conservative patient and a surgeon at Duke admitted to abandoning all sorts of metrics to hire more non-white surgeons. It's apartheid. That's what it's heading towards, isn't it? Because these are, these are uh, what do you call them? Race separatists. They're extremists. And they're in your schools. And they're in your hospitals. And they're in your office. And they're, you know, in HR. I know. I, I shouldn't say it, but I did. <laughs> they're in HR, aren't they? The only way to stop this DEI, DEI insanity in medicine is to expose it. There's an organisation called At Do No Harm, which has sent these um, sent these mails to Ben and the team there. They're doing great work on this front, but more needs to be done. We know Duke, UCLA and Wake Forest, UCLA and Wake Forest are just the tip of the iceberg. If you're a medical professional with newsworthy information that you would like to share, send it our way. Well, Ben. If we come across anything, we'll send it your way. We hope that others do who are watching this video. Although I imagine that you've already got most most of the people because you've got like millions of followers and I've got a five, five, five and a five and a half thousand dedicated ones. That's all I can say. This DEI stuff is absolute nonsense of the first order. Watching The Colour Purple last night was a real refresher to remind me of how people can be. There's a wonderful character in The Colour Purple called Sophia, who is played by a pre-nuttery um, um, Oprah Winfrey. Sophia, she's a very strong character, wonderful, strong character who marries Harpo. But she, she ends up in terrible trouble because she's a bit of a loud mouth and it's not easy to be a loud mouth in the early part of the 19th century in America when you were black. So when a woman who is a white saviour woman, who quite frankly, if it was the modern age, would work in HR, asks her if she wants to be her maid, um, she says, hell no. And she gets, and then the, the husband comes up, up to her and she attacks the husband. She smacks the husband in the face, knocks him over. But the woman that, she then ends up having to be a maid for is a typical narcissistic, compassion, white, middle-class racist. They've always existed. We know who they are. And if she was in real life today, she'd work in HR. Sophia, home now. Hush your mouth. You're mad. <laughs> when she takes control at the dinner table. It's wonderful. Should be funny this, but it's not funny. Ben's being very serious. This is about medical schools and we really need to make sure that this isn't happening in Britain because you and I know it already is.
to top all that off, from the lovely Ben, right, to top all that off, we've got this article that talks about a Columbia University hospital DEI chief is serial plagiarist and compl the complaint alleges. Alain A. McKen plagiarised pages of material from Wikipedia. This is an article um, from freebeacon.com that ties in with what Ben's saying about this nonsense. Um, the Chief Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Officer of Columbia University's Medical School, Alladay McKen, plagiarised extensively in his doctoral dissertation, lifting entire pages of material without attribution from sources that include Wikipedia, according to a complaint submitted to the university on Wednesday. The allegations implicate approximately a fifth of McKen's 163-page dissertation, Ubuntu, I am because we are, a case study examining the experience of an African-centred rites of passage programme within a community-based organisation. Academics want to shoot him! <laughs> they want to shoot him. Shoot him. Oh. This was submitted to ION 2021. More than two of these, more, more than two of those pages are not near verbatim facsimiles of Wikipedia's entry on Afrocentric education, which is not cited anywhere in the dissertation. So he's just stealing it. He's <laughs> just like, like a covetous creature. <laughs> I'll steal that. Then they got pictures of it. Go and have a look. Go and, go and have a look. I'll put the things in the dubris. It just, it just gets worse and worse. We need to identify these people in every organisation, be the organisation medical, be it public, whatever it may be. And we need to um, we need to remove them. They need to be removed. Just fire them. Fire them and take the hit. Let them go to court. I'll see you later. <laughs>